Hey, my lovely Tauruses, how y'all doing? Hope y'all did good this week. Let me remind everybody that everybody's not going to resonate to this Taurus, okay? There's a lot of Tauruses out there. just want to remind everybody. So I could be talking to Taurus, the cross watcher, a third party, or somebody that's around you, okay? So just take it how it resonates. I have to remind everybody because a lot of people come in and they feel like it's not their reading. So you look at your moon and your rising and stuff like that, okay? So hopefully everybody's doing good. And like and subscribe, all right? And share, all right? Thank you for that. So let's see what's on and popping with Taurus. Okay, so what is the overall energy between Taurus and their loved one? What is the overall energy between Taurus and their loved one? Somebody's watching Taurus real close. Look at the chin. This person might have a dimple. Might have close to light eyes. They're watching really close. Or you might be watching them. But I feel like your intuition is telling you something, Taurus. That is not right. And I feel like this person, you're watching this person because your intuition is telling you something. And I feel like this person is severely watching you to what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're speaking, what you up to. Okay? So take it how it resonates. Let me see. What's, what are the message for um, Taurus, please, on that person? Cancer energy. Okay, so there's... Okay, look. Somebody here in this relationship or who you're dealing with is wearing a mask. And that mask is about to drop. Okay? Yes, it's the Three of Cups. But the way that I'm seeing it is like there's a mask somebody's wearing it. And a lot of things are going to unfold in front of you, Taurus. A lot of things are going to unfold in front of you. The mask is coming off. This person is watching you severely, but there's something that this person is hiding. You feel it. Your intuition is guiding you to what this person might be doing. I feel like this person has four people that they talk to or they hang around with or something like that. And one of those people or two of those people are influencing this person. I wouldn't say influence. Let me change that. They know what this person's doing. But this person is doing a lot of spying on you, Taurus. A lot. Okay? What else for Taurus, please? There's a lot of spying here. You got to be on point, Taurus, and let your intuition follow. I mean, lead the way. I'm sorry. Somebody could be following you. I just heard that. Or you could be trying to follow somebody. Look, there's kids involved here. Two kids. Maybe three. But I see a girl and a boy. These kids might be involved too. You might have kids with this person, or this person might have kids, or you might have kids separately. But I feel like you have kids with this person. And I feel like one of these kids has a guiding light. One of these kids has, oh my God, one of these kids, my friend, if I'm going to go with the That's just something I say to my spirits. <clears throat> one of these kids has... 
a very spiritual gift that could possibly be the one to give you the answers that you need, Taurus. Look at the light shining on one of those kids. One of these kids might have spiritual gifts. Maybe this kid knows more. Maybe they're older kids. And they're going to be the ones probably to tell you what's going on. Spiritually. Wow. Okay, hold on. What else for Taurus, please? In love. This person wears a double mask. This person that um, you're with or that you're dealing with. This came upside down. This person that you're dealing with or that you were dealing with has a double mask. He'll smile in your face. She'll smile in your face with no problem whatsoever. My God. They'll just smile in your face with a smirk. With no problem whatsoever. Yeah. While they're doing some dirty shit behind your back. Wow. These readings have been off the chain today. Some of you could be... Some of you could wear feathers or like feathers a lot. Or have feathers in your home. Or maybe some feathers are going to show up in front of you. Or a bird. Look for those signs. Okay? That's a spiritual guide of yours. With those feathers. When you see that, ask. Whatever you want to ask. Whatever you comes to your head. That's the answer right there. This was a loving home. It was very warm at one point. <clears throat> It was very warm, fun, you know, like a like a, a home that was everybody was together. It's not like that anymore. It came upside down. The Palace of Cups. Some of y'all could be going through it with your um, partner, or some of y'all gonna go through it. What else for um Taurus and the please? My hands are so um dry today. It's like everything's flying. Not the car. It's just everything around me that I touch. What else for Taurus, please, in love? Judgment. You feel judged? Taurus, everything you do, you get judged for it. Everything you do is no good. Everything you do is wrong. And you're tired. This person judges you too much. It's like you have a lot of intuition and you have a lot of guardian angels and a lot of spiritual guides that guide you. But you're letting them fall. You're letting your intuition in some way or some form fall. You're not following your intuition. And you have a lot of it. Because some days your intuition is up and some days it's falling. You, let to, you need to let these guys right here guide you. Look how they're falling. You need to step up your game, Taurus. Something is wrong here. Something is wrong here. Hold on. What else for Taurus, please? What else for Taurus? There could be another person involved here. That's what they, just, they just told me. What else for Taurus, please? Use your intuition. You have a lot of it. Your eyes are wide open, but at the same time they're shut, is what they're telling me. What else for Taurus, please? Look. 
you're a woman that knows what you want or a man that knows what you want. You need to take that blindfold off because there's something happening in front of your eyes and you ain't seeing it. This is why this person is watching you so much. This is why you watching this person so much. You're a very confident person, Taurus. Very confident person. And you have a blindfold. You see through the blindfold, but you're blocking it. You're blocking it completely. You are completely blocking it. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with um, a Scorpio. Like, you're a very intuitive person. You need to follow your intuition, Taurus. Something is going on here. And intuitively, you know what's going on here. I would suggest if you have any spiritual beliefs or any of your kids have, because it's coming out clearly here, have your have your kid, if they're older, and they could work um, intuitively to help you with this, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini right here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Like, uh, sometimes you're very serious because you're thinking about a lot of things. You know what you want. But it's like, I see like sadness in your eyes, even though you're so confident. Look at the eyes really good. There's confidence, but there's sadness. What else for Taurus, please? You're looking for attention. The moon card in reverse. You're looking for attention. You're looking for attention, Taurus, in the wrong places. You have insomnia. You could be having insomnia. Unhappiness. There's a lot of mysteries here. Fear. You could be releasing a lot of fear. You could be releasing a lot of fear with the moon card, unhappiness, in some way or form, but you need to really like release everything because I feel like you're stuck in the middle and you're trying to release all this all these things all at once. And you could be having a lot of insomnia, no sleep. There's mysterious things going on here, secrets that you know nothing about, and they're right in front of your face. You need to pay attention, Taurus. You need to pay attention because it's right in front of your face. What's on here? Look, victory. I never read the back of the cards. Victory. You're going to be victorious here, Taurus. No matter what's going on here, you're going to be victorious. That card is always victory to me, and somebody's watching very close to me. Like, they're watching you so hard that it's ridiculous. They're trying to find something when they're doing something wrong. Makes no damn sense. What else for Taurus, please? While they're doing it wrong, they're watching you. Like, who, the, who does that? Like, for real? Like, who does that? You could be meditating. You could be, you know, um, in your own space right now. But at the same time, like I always say, darkness into darkness, the key to all mysteries, the cardinal says it. You're very intuitive, Taurus. You need to open up more. And leave your thoughts behind because I feel like you're thinking so much that you're not letting that intuition sometimes kick in. And you need to because they're trying to give you messages, your spirit guides. 
you're blocking those messages for some reason you don't want to hear. And you know what's going on. And this person is smirking right under those kids. Pay attention. Pay attention. Why that person is smirking so much under those kids. I don't feel right with that. I ain't trying to see nothing crazy happen. So don't jump the gun, people. I'm just saying there's something going on that's not right here. Maybe these kids have seen something and they're just staying quiet or heard something. Who knows? But it's not right. <clears throat> it's not right. This is Gemini upside down. The moon card. Do you know the Gemini? Gemini came out twice. I feel like you're trying to go into... um meditation and you can't but it, when you're trying to meditate you're not even meditating with good thoughts you're meditating and these vivid thoughts come to you you need to try to meditate and bring good thoughts okay even if you have to look it up on youtube like meditate and bring good thoughts because your meditation is giving you bad thoughts for some reason I feel like somebody's walking out of this home. One of you is walking out. One of you is going to walk out. And for you people that are single, somebody's watching you very closely. Very closely. Some secret, some mysterious thing going on here is going to come to light. You're going to find out who's watching you for the singles. This person is very confident. They want to come into your life. But be very careful. Whoever's going to come into your life. Study them first. Keep your eyes wide open on whoever's coming into your life right now. Very clearly they're telling me. Keep your eyes open. Wow. What what does this person want to tell um Gemini please? I mean, why would I say Gemini? Shit. You could be dealing with a Gemini. What does this person I want to tell Taurus please? Or maybe he's a cross watcher. Who knows? What does this person want to tell Taurus please? What does this person want to tell Taurus? They're watching. They're in the bushes. Look at this. I cannot make this shit up. They're in the bushes watching you. There's a there's a lot of light around you, Taurus. And they may they may be blocking. The vision of this person, but this person knows what's up, and they're watching very closely. Look, they're just watching you. A lot of eyes on you, Taurus. Be careful. I don't know what's going on here, and this is Taurus energy right here. Virgo up here, like they could be watching you so much that they just don't stop watching. <clears throat> it's like spying on a person. It's like an obsession. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. It's an obsession. It's like an obsession. Watching you is like stalking you at the same time. Some of you might live with this person, but they're stalking you while they're living with you. Some of you could be separated and they're stalking you. They're watching you. They're watching your every move. They're trying to find something on you. Taurus. Singles and who was ever together here or whoever broke up. Whoever it is, all three parties that are, you know, all three readings that are here differently, everybody's getting watched. Everybody's getting watched. What's, what does this person want to tell Taurus? What 
what is this person on top Taurus, please? I just had like um somebody might be one <sighs> wow. Somebody might have some uh heart palpitations right now, but somebody might be smoking weed right now or wanna smoke some weed or is high right now because they just told me. Pass me a joint. I don't even say joint. I will say blunt and I don't even smoke. I haven't smoked in a long time. 21 years. But somebody that probably, I don't know, it's a confirmation for somebody. They're telling me, pass me a joint. So somebody must be high watching this or they're, gonna, they're about to get um, high. That was very random for my spirits. What does this person want to tell Taurus, please? You could be chilling out in a yard or in a very secluded place smoking. You might even chill with a dog when you get, when you smoke. They just keep on telling me that. What does this person want to tell um Taurus, please? Temperance. You're dealing with a Sagittarius. These kids are off the chain. Temperance. <sighs> Balance. Patience. You gotta have patience. Because <clears throat> this person right here is having a lot of patience watching you. And they're trying to balance this situation out. They're trying to find something on you, Taurus. To bring balance, to bring balance, <laughs> that just, oh my God, my father, phone ain't going. They're telling me that they're trying to bring balance into their own situation by trying to find something out on you so they can bring balance in their own situation because at the end of the day, they're doing some fuckery too. <clears throat> There's a lot of um, juggling going on here. So they're balancing out they trying to look at you and they trying to find something on you, Taurus, so they could balance their situation, bring an excuse up to walk away. Is what they just told me. Mafere fun egum. Gracias por confirmarme eso. They are really stalking you, Taurus. This is ridiculous. You gotta be careful, Taurus. All right? Or the other person, just to re take it how it resonates. What a, that one popped out. What are the messages does um, Spirit have for Taurus, please? Okay, so this one says balance. I cannot make this shit up. Like, are you serious? Wow, temperance has balance in it. They're trying to balance, whatever. It says, take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. You hear that? Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. It says, have patience. Here it comes again. And don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. So take time in your next steps. All right? Eyes wide open, Taurus. Let me see what the universe for my ancestor. It's messages for you to say. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it says, 
Life Lessons, Soul Growth, Study, Higher Learning. So you might be a very smart person, okay? Earth School. Like if you want to go to school or you're learning life lessons, okay? Life lessons are going to teach you, okay? Soul Growth. This one says, Child of Cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. You see that? The universe is helping you. You need to let it in. Take it all in. Follow your intuition. The universe is helping you. That one just flew out. These two just flew out. And I didn't even shuffle. I'm going to take them. It says, when it comes to matters of the heart, <clears throat> there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. You hear that? It says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Give to yourself, Taurus. Your alone time is to yourself. Give some time to yourself. Do something. Go out. Make plans. Um, fix yourself up. I don't know with this COVID going on. <clears throat> it's crazy, everybody. But do for yourself. When you're alone, like even in the meditation, it's time for yourself. You feel me? So give to yourself, okay? Because I feel like you give to more to others. Give some time to yourself, okay? So I hope this helped you, Taurus. I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you later, my loves.